playing the duduk is Moscow Jew Alexander Listengort, who moved to Armenia with his family after the invasion started. However, he is no stranger to Armenianness. When I saw Armenian alphabet, I literally fell in love with it, and I felt some uh, specific strength and uh, deep spiritual thing that uh, there is inside and within Armenian alphabet, Armenian letters. And for three years I've been learning Armenian and fell in love with the culture and history. I always dreamed to live in Armenia. As everybody knows, as Khorinatsi said in his books, that uh, Tigran the Great, uh, when it was the Great Armenia Empire, he took more than uh, 20,000 Jews from Palestine and from Iran, I mean from Persia, to Armenia. So they were observing a really special period of time when Jews are coming back to Armenian land. Armenia has never been an anti-Semitic country. The modern situation uh, is a bit worse because after the Karabakh War of 2020, when Israel helped with their weapons to Azerbaijan and sold it, um, there is a big difference between anti-Israelism and anti-Semitism. Today we're at the very important point when we can decide where we should we turn. We turn to anti-Semitic Armenia or to Jewish-friendly Armenia. But why Armenia and not Israel? For those Jews who want to move to Israel, there is the Sochnut, an agency which helps Jewish people prepare documents 